Hello everyone, this is Grant. In this video I'm going to show you how to install the OpenShift client tools by Red Hat on the Microsoft Windows operating system. I'm using Windows 7 Professional 64-bit but these instructions should work across any version of Windows. In order for the Red Hat client tools to work properly we need to install OpenSSH, Ruby, Git, and Ruby Gems. We recommend that you install these packages via the SIGWIN application. Open up your web browser and go to www.sigwin.com. Click on Install SIGWIN. Click the setup.exe file. Select to run it. Since this is a new installation, I have UAC enabled, so I will click Yes. And then the SIGWIN setup application will be running. Go through the installation wizard. Select Install from Internet change your default installation directory if you want. Select if you have a proxy or a direct connection to the internet. Select a mirror that is close to you. And it will retrieve a package list of available things to install with the SIGWIN application. Since we require OpenSSH, let's search for that package. If I go up to the search box and type in OpenSSH, one thing to note here is do not press the Enter key. It will refresh the results as you type. If you actually press the Enter key, it will take you to the next screen. So we'll expand the Net Applications. We found OpenSSH there. By default, it was set to skip this package and not install it, so I will click on the Skip button and now we can see that it is going to be installed the binary package you can also select to install a source package I'll now search for the Ruby package should be under Devel and should be the first one here which is just about three and a half megs I'll then search for git it's also under the development branch select that one Click Next. It's going to resolve any dependencies. Go ahead and select Next. It's then going to download all of those packages. This will take a few minutes based on your internet connection speed. Now that SIGWIN has been downloaded and installed, we'll finish the installer, we'll create an icon on the desktop, and we will add it to our Start menu. On Windows 7 you will see this error message saying that it may not have installed correctly. Just go ahead and cancel that as we know that it did install correctly. We'll now need to download Ruby Gems. If you go to RubyForge slash project slash Ruby Gems and scroll down, select the Ruby Gems package, then select the tar.gz file. Save it to your disk, click on computer, then go to your C drive, SIGWIN, home, we'll then start up the SIGWIN application. and it will drop us in our home directory. So let's back up a directory and move the Ruby gems that we just downloaded into our home directory. Go into our home directory and then let's G unzip it. Then tar xvf that will extract the contents into the Ruby gems directory. Then need to run Ruby on the setup.rb file. Now we have gem installed. It's a very easy process to install the client tools. Type in gem install rhc. It'll contact the correct repository, download the packages, and install them on your system. At this point, 
you can use the Red Hat client tools on your machine. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about OpenShift, please visit our online forums or email us openshift at redhat.com.